when you put your post in there first and you pour your concrete around it. If you're not careful, there's really good chances that you could, your concrete's gonna move the bottom of your post around and it's gonna be really easy for you to get that post out of line. So this method is a lot easier. Takes some getting used to. Skill level, definitely like a nine. Just kidding, you can do it. Action. Oh, that was really good, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, I thought so, it was right on cue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight. We're gonna go to the old line, go straight for two sections and then go to the new line. So what we're doing here is we are working that way with our fence line. We have a good 600 feet strung out that direction. We have a sight post down there. There's one post that we're sighting to to keep the, this line in check so that, that way we're staying straight. I didn't say it, but yeah, we're doing this without a string line because we don't have the time for a string line. You wanna make sure and use the same eye, but look at this side of the post and look at this side of the post and make sure that you're traveling in a straight line. And then Andrew here, he goes back behind and he goes to that post and he looks back behind me to make sure that my post is correct and it's hitting my target post. He gives me the thumbs up and now I can continue that direction. Sure. Yep, perfect. When setting without a string, you wanna make sure and pay really close attention. So when you're looking at your fence line going that direction and you're working away from it, make sure that you can't see a sliver of any post. And if you can't see a sliver of any post, then you're good. So there, I had that one. I must've knocked it just a little bit in that direction. And I couldn't, maybe I didn't see it there, but I saw it as soon as I started setting this one. So I had to go back to that one and fix that before I could set this one. So now that we're done setting this post, we need to go back down the fence line. And I didn't set a post down here and I was wanting to show you guys why I didn't set it. So the post I didn't set is that one. And the reason I did not set that is because that is a terminal post or a brace post. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break the fence there. We're gonna break the top rail, we're gonna break the chain link and we're gonna break the tension wire. Why? Because that's the spec on this job. We have to break it every 250 feet. So since that's a bigger post, that is a two and seven eighths post and our line posts are two and three eighths, it's really hard to see around that bigger post. So if you shoot through it, don't set that post. That way you can make sure your line stays straight and established. Come back after you do set this line, come back and set that post. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I don't know if you notice this cool little thing, this skid steer going down with this really cool attachment that dispenses the concrete for us. No, it does not mix the concrete because we don't have the time to do that. We just call in our concrete to our local concrete company and they bring it out to us. On this truck that we have ordered right now, we have a solid 10 yards of concrete, so it's a full truck. And that is gonna get us a little bit more than past that fence line. For the depth of the holes we have, it should get us about 85 posts. But there is a mixed design on this and we can't just use any kind of concrete that we want. We have to use what is an approved concrete mix. And this one is approved. Um, so therefore mixing concrete ourselves is not an option. Is that thing really worth it? Absolutely. Because there's not enough people to push 85 wheelbarrows of concrete down that. So that is a cement hog and that thing can carry about six to seven holes worth of concrete at one time. And I, he just stays in there and he pours that concrete out for us and drives right down the fence line. All we do is come right behind him and set the post. This concrete is also tested. So there is an uh, engineer involved with this who is actually gonna take samples of this concrete and take strength samples 
to make sure that this concrete breaks at um, no less than 3,000 PSI. We put a chemical in there so that, that way it slows down the, the chemical reaction or the, the curing process. So that way it's gonna stay wetter for us a little bit longer so that way we can set our posts and set our posts to height. So that is one benefit to ordering concrete from a concrete company. You just, the stressful part is, is if you haven't done it before, is knowing how to order it. I'm sure that you notice by now that we're not just throwing the post in the hole and pouring the concrete around it. So what we're doing is we are stabbing the post in the concrete so that way the concrete goes up inside that post and then it encases the post all the way around it. When you put your post in there first and you pour your concrete around it, if you're not careful, there's really good chances that you could, your concrete's gonna move the bottom of your post around and it's gonna be really easy for you to get that post out of line. So this method is a lot easier. Takes some getting used to. Skill level, definitely like a nine. Just kidding, you can do it. Once you get the hang of it, it's really fun and really easy. Um, there, I really enjoy setting a nice straight run of posts. It's a great time and it's just awesome to see how straight you can get it. Which every time, straight as an arrow. We're short on concrete. We used all 10 yards of that truck and now we can use some more. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place an order for some more while we set the height of the stuff that we just set. So we're gonna go to our Construction Master Pro app on the iPhone or Android. We're gonna take 12 inches because that is the diameter of our auger that we're using. We're gonna go circle, circle to get the area, which is 113 square inches times we're going to 48 inch uh four foot de depth on the hole so times 48 inches and that gives you the cubic inches now we're going to go to conversion yards that gives us the yardage per hole which is 0 0.116355 we have 63 more holes that we can pour so we're going to take that times 63. so i need to order a truck for eight yards of concrete and that'll finish off everything that we have drilled for today. That is how you figure out how much concrete you need for how many holes you have. When we do our height, the way that we do it is we measure down from the top of our post. This is a seven foot fence. We're gonna measure down. We're gonna put a mark at two feet, 24 inches on all the line posts. So our second mark goes at 81. What that is, is that's a grade mark. That's the bottom of the fence. So that's gonna tell you across the time whether your fence is gonna be high, your fence is gonna be right at grade, or your fence is gonna go into the ground. Three inches less than your fabric. It is three inches less than your fabric. But for your terminal, your marks are gonna be four inches greater than this. So you're, you're gonna have four inches here you're gonna mark 28 for your site mark. And then you're gonna add four more inches to that 81, which is gonna put you at 85. So that being said, we're just trying to line up these marks right here with everything that we got behind us. But we're also paying attention to that mark. On this particular job, we have a three inch max gap that we can be above the ground. So we're really trying to stay at about two. And make sure everything's all nice and in line before you move on. So right here, we're going flat. All my marks are lining up perfectly. We finally have a grade change. It's not very drastic, but it is still there. And I wanted to show you guys how to handle that with this method. The top of my finger is where the rest of the, is the height that the rest of that fence is at. But this post is one inch taller. My grade, my, my grade mark is right at ground. So I pulled this post up one inch from that elevation that the rest of the fence is at. So now if we go to this post, 
That's the distance that I'm coming out of the ground. I'm lifting the post out of the ground every time to get over this little hump. My grade mark is, right, still at ground. So all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to roll over this hump and then go back down, but also roll with style. Maybe you say, roll style, make it look good, you know? Yeah, see me rolling? <laughs> yeah, I don't know the rest of that song.